Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about three minutes. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is that I'm recording myself, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So if you just want it raw, unscripted, nitty gritty, look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. But if you are looking for some sort of trade recap, some sort of post commentary, where you know everything's already been recorded, and then you know the person sits there and explains what's already happened, uh, that's not where you're going to get here. But if you just, like I said, want unscripted look into day trading and all that, uh, you will find that. Also, a little bit of context. I had something rel very, actually, very last minute pop up that I want to take advantage of. So I don't have much time to trade at all. I'm thinking 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes. So I only have about 15 to 20 minutes, which may prompt the question, well, Clay, then why are you even bothering? Because 15 to 20 minutes, that can actually be more than enough time to make worthwhile money. Now, to be fair, I'm about to lose money. I have no idea. Maybe I'm about to not even make any trades. I don't know because again, I don't know what's coming next. This is live. Uh, but that's the context is I, I just don't have a whole lot of time, but I do see enough opportunity out there uh, where I, I think I could make something worth that 15 to 20 minutes, uh, but I will pause for now and I'll be back at the open. Okay, watching 3050 here on DNLI for a potential short. I wanna see it get a bit closer in there at 3052. Now looking for the breakdown below 3050. And if you can break down through there, I think it can open up nicely. I am short, so I want to see the price go down. I well, really decided to stop and hesitate here, didn't it? Wow, like no no budging here. 30.52 seems to be the level. There we go. Okay, now we're getting some movement. But not a whole lot. Big surge of volume, yet this thing barely, barely budged. All right, I'm out there for a $200 loss. Yeah, you saw it, got the break, nothing came from it, and then, uh, you know, the bounce happened. So, as of right now, starting in the red. Tesla, what is that, 11.03, Tesla, 11.03, push point one minute. Let me pull up some options here on Tesla. Oh, I missed that. Wasn't quite fast enough for those. So yeah, I did, the reason my, my, why my screen changed around is I changed over to the options platform because yes, I do trade options. Tesla sure is pretty jumpy this morning, huh? Let's go back to my, how's DNLI doing? Nope. I could maybe try it again uh, around 30, I don't know, maybe 30, 50, see if it wants to come down and finally give the break there. 
So I suppose I can keep an eye on it. Eleven oh three. So maybe another chance here on Tesla. Bounce back up above. So I'm going to try for some. There we go. Two contracts at 3750. Looking for this thing to come back down. through 11.03. Ideally get down to 1100. Not looking so good right now. Let's give it a little bit more chance to come down. Because it is so jumpy. If it does come back down, I will add another contract. So again, if this thing comes down to 11.03, buying another one. Nope, there we go, got filled there. So now I have three contracts. Now looking for this thing to get moving in my favor here. Where did I just get suckered in? Just need it to come down below 1102. There we go. Good, good, good. Have one more left. And out there for 180. So I'm glad I added, but I'm. this is a hard read right now in Tesla because it is so jumpy. So down $16. Funny thing is I, I did it. Oh, wow. What's going on with RIVN? Let's go to the stock screen for this one. RIVN just getting completely destroyed. Wow. Uh, 83. Yeah, I could risk. I'm just trying to figure out how much I want to risk on the next one because I'm still in the red. I don't mind going deeper into the red. It'd be nice to try to get myself to the green TSM wow. And just as an FYI in Tesla, I play that one right and I'm just gonna stay away from it. Just so choppy, look at that. So that would have been, I mean, that snap back up would have taken me into the, into the red there. So gotta move. Just not a very big move, and I was only, you know, quote unquote, only able to capture $180 on it. What's going on with mRNA here? What is that? 217.20. Let me get that alerted. But very, very choppy out there. And I thought this would be a much better morning than what it's been, which is why I even did a video in the first place as I. Um, have said many times before and will continue to say, I have no problem saying, I do these videos when I think I can make an, a great, awesome video. Because I'm the first to admit, I wanna put a great, awesome video out there on YouTube where I'm making great money. Now for you longtime viewers, you know that's not always the case because there's plenty of videos where I trade very just blah. There's videos where I just flat out lose money. Um, so it's not, you know, in the sense of, well, I think I can make money. So I, no, it is because I think I can make good money, but that's, you know, that's not what always happens is the moral of the story. And uh, the reason I'm, you know, talking about all this is that's why I did a video here. Here I thought it was gonna be some great trading action. 
And as of now, I've just kind of been chopped up. Even on that winning Tesla trade was a choppy trade. Because now look at this thing. Chop, 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 back up it goes. Now maybe does it want to come back down here again? Yeah, maybe, but I got to hold true and just say, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable trading this one. 1103. And I suppose we can try to paper, I can try to paper trade that if I want. Look at that thing. Got a beautiful break to the downside, now chop, or you know, now heading right back up. Um, so that's why, you know, even if it were to come back down, who knows, maybe that's finally the move. But maybe that's uh, going to be another false one where it just chops right back above and heads back upwards. And yep, well, DNLI. So here's, you know, the other little learning lesson. Just take the loss, right? Think about it. Had I not taken that loss of $200 and had I held and hoped, look at this thing, up and up and up, my loss would be way bigger and getting even bigger the higher this thing goes. Because again, for you beginners, I was short, meaning that I wanted to see prices go down. So seeing the price go up, that is very painful for uh, you know somebody that is on the short side. But I took the loss, didn't let it spin out of control. Next trade put me, now I'm only down 16 bucks. So I mean, but had I, you know, held, I mean, what would that, it's, it's up over, I got it at 31, it's up over, yeah. I mean, we're talking another, what, let's, let's call it 600 bucks or, you know, another, what, 400 or so. MRNA. Look at this, yeah. Two seventeen fifty, but it's so choppy. So two seventeen. Yeah, I mean that's a couple hundred bucks. I'm right now. It's so choppy. I, I have to be very kind of pessimistic. Like, yeah, this could very realistically be a losing trade. So I got to make sure that I'm okay with the loss that could potentially happen. So that'd be one fifty. And DNLI. Yep. There's, look at that. So if I'm getting stubborn, hold and hold and hold, that loss is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So in this situation, that loss on DNLI, sure it's annoying, sure it's not fun, but it feels pretty good right now. Because in hindsight, wow, that could have been a really, really bad. Oh no, Tesla, don't do it to me. Don't whisper my name. I mean, come on, Tesla, do you, do you, do you honestly wanna break down here or are you trying to just sucker me in, Tesla? I suppose I could just do shares with smaller size. Here we are again, 11.03, 11.06, that's 150. Although I already missed it. I gotta, I gotta, no, like I said, the temptation voices are there. Take it, Clay, take it. No, 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 Clay, but you said already it was too choppy. Yes. Us traders are crazy people. We have multiple voices that visit us. Okay, RIVN though, all right, RIVN. Could be given uh, something worthwhile here. So I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on that. I got about, I don't know, eight minutes left though. So I gotta be very careful that I don't just force something for the, for, for the sake of forcing it. 84, 85. So potentially, yeah, so maybe, uh, I'm just talking to myself right now. Tesla continuing to whisper my name. I mean, it does look like a quality setup, but I, I, I just don't trust the choppiness here. MRNA though, interesting. Area right around 21825. 21825. Push point one minute. So if I do Do like oh well, maybe it's just gonna float away on me. C 
seems to be. So a lot of these setups, as you're seeing, are there, they're there, but yeah, 8450 seems like it could be reasonable. 8450, 80, so yeah, I could do 250. Not gonna make a bunch, but it's also not gonna kill me by any stretch. Yeah, so I'm interested in RIVN. Let me get that alerted. RIVN eighty four fifty flush point one minute. So in there, eighty four sixty eight. Oh, the VWAP's right there. I better. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And we'll see if this thing wants to roll back over, but that kind of distorts my first. I wanted my first profit area. Nah, so this is not ideal, but I got to at least try to pull off some. So again, definitely not ideal where I'm trying to pull off these profits, but it's kind of got to be that way via the VWAP location there. Or maybe this thing is just getting ready to, to go against me. I like the formation. The only question mark is, you know, first off, of course, doesn't want to break down from this little consolidation. Next, doesn't want to get down through the VWAP. But I'm trying to mitigate some of that risk via pulling off a little bit of size. So lowering, there we go. Lowering, there we go. Lowering size. Now this could very, st very realistically still be a losing trade. Okay, there we go. Got some more off right. Now, here we go. Here we're at VWAP. What's going to happen here? Is it going to bounce or is it going to get on down through? Still have 175 shares. So like I said, this could still be a losing trade if it decides to bounce. And I don't like how it's hesitating. So I'm going to pull off a, some more there. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, 84, 84.75 is my new stop now, which I think would still take me to losing trade territory. So this thing is either gonna break down through that VWAP or I'm gonna have a small, small losing trade on it. It's quite simple at this point. So that, that, that's, that's the question. Does this want to break down through VWAP or does it want to bounce up? And if it does, it'll be a small losing trade for me. Right now, not looking so good. Let's see if it wants to come back down though. So this is at this point in time, I'm glad I lessened the load where I did. All right, coming back down maybe. It's a great looking candle if it actually forms that way. So again, feeling good with the decision I made to lighten up that load. So that way I'm not taking a loss at full position size. But if this ultimately goes in my favor, I'm for sure I'll be disappointed with myself. But right now, feel great. Feel very good, Clay, good decision. I'm Good job lightening up the load. Because right now it feels like you're about to get stopped out. 84.75 is a stop. Is 
That yellow line was the worry, and I mean the power of charts, and that's right where it bounced off from. Are charts perfect? No, there's no such thing as a perfect tool. Are they worth learning? Absolutely, and I'm about to get stopped out. 84.75, I'm watching. Eighty four seventy five, what's it gonna do? Come on, push it down. I feel so good right now that I lessen up the position size. And out there for oh hey. All right, nice. <laughs> I, I still made eighteen bucks on it and I am up one dollar on the day. And it's 20 minutes in, so hey, I had 20 minutes to trade and I made a dollar. Uh, okay, well Clay, technically speaking, you have commissions. Okay, so I probably I, I probably had about, uh, I don't know, how many shares did I trade? I trade 1,100 shares, I don't know. So I lost, let's just call it, I lost five bucks. So you know what, I had 20 minutes and I'm walking away with the $5 loss. But wow, this still looks so good right now at 84.25. But I gotta, I gotta get moving with my day. Um, so, and of course it comes back down, stops me out, then comes back down. But, oh, that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Look at it right here. I think that was a sign though. I literally got stopped out at 9.50 and you can see right there, 03. And I said at the beginning, I have 15, 20 minutes. So we're literally at 20 minutes. Oh, look at this. You little, oh, oh, oh. that's how the markets go. Has it, have, hey, have you ever been here? So have I, okay? So have I. But I'll look at the bright side. Even with that, wow, that's called getting played like a fiddle there. So got played like a fiddle. Um, but you know what? I'm glad I lessened the load because, hey, that was still uh, allowed me to uh, to make 18 bucks on the trade and, and put me at $1, but with commissions, like I said. I'm probably down like 4 or $5 on the day. But I, I've got to get running. Uh, so yeah, here we go. I had 20 minutes to trade and I ended up losing 3 $4. And that's just how, how it goes. Actually, and I wanna just finish. How did this one actually go? Because this is, this is actually the true, look at that thing. This is the true learning lesson. Had I not, had I been stubborn, had I said, no, 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 I'm not taking the loss. I'm not taking the loss on DNLI. Think about it. Not only would I not be back into the green, I would be deeper into the red. I'll say that one again. Had I not taken, so had I not gone into the red, not only, I would be deeper in the red and not in the green. But because I decided to go into the red, I am now green. Does that make sense? Because I decided to go into the red and take that loss, that's ultimately allowed me to get green on the day. However, for the people like, nope, nope, I'm not gonna go into the red. Well, guess what? Those people have just got even, they've gotten more red. They've lost even more money and they're, they're not sitting at $1 on the day like me. So uh, that's funny. $1. <laughs> Anyways, okay. The markets, it, it, it's, it's definitely telling me something. He said, Clay, we'll give you $1 and right at the 20 minute mark. Now go on with your day. Um, so, but anyways, thank you for hanging out. If you enjoy these live trade videos, uh, you know, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Uh, those go a long way in communicating to me that you like these videos, because they're not easy to make. I have to talk to you, I have to think for myself, I have to execute my own trades, I have to make alerts in the chat room. There's a lot of stuff going on. So they're not the easiest videos to make, but they are possible, and I will continue to do them as long as I know that people are uh, enjoying. So if you enjoy these live trade videos, like I said, hit that like button, and then leave a basic comment below, even if it's just saying hi. Let me know what you traded today, let me know what you're watching for tomorrow. So everybody take care, and have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. 
but in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.